Saturday 2 to 4 p.m. on my TV. Bulvinaka, welcome yet again to another Family Table Talk. On every Saturday morning at 7.30 a.m., we would like to greet you today and thank you for joining us. Uh, for those of you that are tuning in within the Central Division, we have Eastern, we have the Islands, the Western and the Northern. And uh, also to those of you who are tuning in outside Fiji, whichever country you may be tuning in uh, from, Australia, New Zealand, Europe, continent, American, and we have the Pacific Islands. Mm -hmm. And uh, also we would like to remember you listening in from the island here in uh, Fiji. Fiji and, uh, yes. maybe and I'm attacking the Sigma Karawai, and the Vima Mani Vitu, and the Vita Lano, and the Vika, and the Nanonda Matapo Valley, and the Sigma Vinaka Niko. Totogramo Nonovinango, we can double get to any Sanitary Gavani, Nonda Manua, we turn a bale, Marambale, we corcor, Nimbula Vinaka, Matakani Varawai, Sonangonando, the Sarasatoka, and uh, yeah. yeah. uh, television. Kau tak nak kita buat kerja sahaja untuk orang Taliban ni, walau si platform mereka, dan channel four, sebab Facebook ni ni My TV, atau sahaja untuk orang orang bilang kau mikir orang buat bulat tuan ni, dan mata kan ini sendiri naik. Sini kita dah buat kerja dengan Filipina, Papua New Guinea, Papua Lagi, Amerika, kita nak kita buat lebih banyak sia, kerana bila mata ni tu, lagu tu mereka bawa buli bawa kerja, bawa gitu, ni bulu benak. Sini kita dah buat kerja dengan Filipina, Papua New Guinea, Europe. Na British Army, we can again that to Navi Tokalo Eloma, Buddha Ivalu, we talk of Mac, the Sam Bulabinaka, who no live in Africa, Sinu Labitanga, and we are in the Pacific, we can the Maitonga, Samoa, but I like in my Solomon, Ukraine, Stavatuna, and then my Honiara, have a new Nibina to Anina, Toma Lotale and Akaya, and Rumitico, and the Matakanis in Indai, Vanuatu, New Caledonia. Papua New Guinea, ni mula mina kan matakan ini sendiri dai. Family table talk, we mama ni betul. Hendak we matakan ni baru awal. Siapa kan mula tu kan ni? Hendak sih mina kan ni kuat. Kerana kita kan ni betul betul nuah bangongo. Kasar kan membela tanah mata awal. Hendak we buka buka lebih kian dah. Hendak sih mina kan ni kuat. So greetings again this morning and saying mula mina kan saying good morning for those of you that are morning. But some of us will be evening, yes. some of us will be uh, in the afternoon. We take this time to say Mbulubinaka all the way from Fiji for this program. We call it uh, the Family Table, Table Talk. Talk. 
And uh, thank you. We were actually uh, in the round, uh, rounding up because uh, we are coming towards the end of the year. Yeah. And uh, it's December, that uh, moment of the year, that uh, everything we say to ourselves, okay, this is the end of this particular year. So we round up with a lot of things, work, family, uh, time together, time to uh, appreciate one another, time to uh, uh, socialize, a lot of things that we uh, say to ourselves, okay, we are coming to the end of a a whole year, and then we are anticipating another great year that is ahead of us. And uh, this morning, uh, because of that, last night we were actually watching uh, a CNN News. And uh, I was really, you know, like when I was listening last night, which we would like to share here. Uh, as I listened last night, or as we were watching the news, uh, you know, they mentioned that uh, in October, for the month of October, 4.4 uh, million uh, Americans, you know, 4.4 uh, million, uh, they have uh, resigned or left their work. And uh, it, for me, there was, you know, like that never used to happen. It may be happening in, you know, in Fiji or any other country, but for that particular uh, piece of news last night on the CNN, that 4.4 million in America, uh, in America have uh, resigned from their job in the month of October. And, uh, and they were interviewed. A few couples were interviewed last night. So what was happening uh, during the uh, you know, pandemic and uh, throughout COVID, um, there was, uh, you know, like a self-realization to most. Yeah. Uh, and the couple that was interviewed uh, uh, last night, you know, they mentioned one of them is a real estate agent and the other one, uh, you know, works in the construction, uh, uh, you know, b uh, building work or contractor work. And then they, uh, they were pictured with their caravan, caravan and their twin cab. And then they said, we sold our home. We have resigned from our job uh, earlier. And uh, one thing that they've realized that they spend have worked, spent too much time in the, the workplace, workplace. Uh, spent a lot of years, many you know years, and waiting uh, you know for them to reach their yeah. age of retirement age, maybe for us you know waiting for fifty five. you know, I mean for retirement. And, uh, and they mentioned like uh, you know the, the realization that came during pandemic and yeah. COVID, on how hard you have worked and. Those years of uh, investing and working, and then you're only looking forward, you know, towards the uh, the retirement, and that uh, during COVID, death, you know, happens Just earlier than planned yeah. or expected. Nangona me zaba kina nabola, nangona me me lenga kina. Um, it was a waste of investment, a waste of time, something that you have worked so hard to build up uh, that you want to enjoy it together with your family or with your spouse. And then uh, COVID come and uh, quickly take them or take them without plan or take them not knowing that they're going to go. And uh, that realization happened to a lot of people. So in America, they reported 4.4 uh, million, million in the month of October. They have resigned from their job and they have just decided to do that and work from home in whatever little way that they can uh, to sustain them. And uh, one thing that I can derive from that uh, piece of news mm. last night on how they have uh, shifted, uh, you know, the value of the family, or to value their life and value the, uh, you know, their uh, their relationship as husband and wife, and also value their family as a whole, uh, knowing that before they used to be away so much, uh, doing work, but because of that, now they are resigning to spend as much time as with the family, and um, sustain them just by doing something to get them, you know. Yeah, because we, we were introduced into the system that you must go out there and uh, invest, work, get money. Yeah, you know? and, and then and, work through the period until you Yes, until, until such a time mm. that you can, uh, you know, nearly uh, can barely work, then you are uh, told to retire. During the pandemic, the pandemic taught them the value of being together yeah. or the value of... Uh, being with their children, the value of uh, staying at home. Yes. Yeah. Because I believe the world was going, uh, according to the news last night, what, uh, what I gathered, we were introduced into very fast lane world. Yeah. You know, that if you are not working, something is wrong with you. Yeah. But we, when we go back 50 years ago, 60 years ago, it was okay that maybe little money can, can be okay yeah. for them to live, live through. And uh, the timing together, 
the quality uh, relationship together yeah. uh, is much, much more value or we can say goodness that uh, we can get from compared to uh, nine to work, yeah, yeah. nine to both going to work and the children uh, uh, left alone at home. Eh? Mm. And the pandemic uh, like show, show yeah. them the quality yeah. because we were forced to another new norm. Yes. And they start to realize, oh, I mean, four, 0.4 million, that's a lot. Yeah. Um, and uh, certain aspect of uh, uh, work, uh, working people like the nurse, the, 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 the general service, yeah. Yeah. They, are, they are sort of uh, employees at the moment yeah. because most of them, they want to stay at home. Yeah. They found out during the pandemic the beauty about... Uh, yeah. Being together. And not only yeah. that, I think the realization to that came uh, for them to lose their loved ones during that process. Yes. Eh? Yeah. Maybe some of you here listening in 3G. Uh, that you lost uh, Yeah, you lost your loved one. You lost your husband, you lost your wife, maybe or maybe your children. You know, there were uh, some cases of uh, infant and uh, children. And when you lose them, then you realize, you know, you've lost something very valuable to your life that uh, not even any money on the face of the earth can replace them or bring them back to your life. And, and I believe, like as we shared today, um, you know, the, the news that we saw last night, we can the kind of wrong to give it. So can the wrong to give it no time? Can they uh, eat okay? Or we can say we are Fijian. You know, uh, we are always known differently because on, on our bonding and our family values. Family value. And that family value, not only see within the nuclear family, we love our extended family, we love our village, which we, you know, that love. Eh? And uh, you know, and do my takalikina, and I'm going to do my lakudurumikina on COVID. And so we can, the mother woman, you still haven't recovered from that. You know, like uh, uh, somebody so dear to your life or very precious to your life. Now, I'm going to do my lakudurumikina. Until today, you're still trying to uh, uh, find solace. So find a closure. And, uh, and sometimes you're angry within you. You're so angry with the world. You're angry with God or you're angry with everything. Uh, indirectly, you're trying to say, you know, this shouldn't have happened. Um, it shouldn't have happened. Why me? Or why my husband? Or why my wife has to go? Or why my children have to go? Why my child? Why my mom? Why my dad? So there's a lot of questions that we ask. And, uh, mm -hmm. and just reflecting on the news that we heard last night, uh, some have taken note of that. Mm -hmm. You know, they've lost their loved ones, and they've realized even the amount of money that they've made throughout their life, so it has sort of uh, made them rearrange the priorities of their life. And, uh, and, and we want to bring it to this table this morning because it's a family table talk, one. And second, uh, maybe what we share this morning can be, you know, uh, you know can impact you in such a way uh, to, uh, for you just to review and think uh, your, your, of your current status. Maybe we believe that after COVID, not only for America for them to resign, uh, in every country, in every individual, in Dona Kayado, there is a shift in your mm -hmm. paradigm. Something happened. Uh, the things that you never used to value before, uh, now you value it. Now, Kai and the Sindhu, the Kabiliu, so we can even maybe sound you out in the COVID. Uh, it has sort of reorganized your priorities and rearranged your life and also changed uh, a lot on the outset on how you look at people, uh, you know, how you, your perspective of things around you, and also you're resilient to things around you. Before, uh, when you're working and you're earning money and you have a normal family, everything is good. But if you do a or something run out, your patience, you know, your stress level is very high, very easy for you to, you know, hear out or, 
like you swear or you're just always uh, screaming and shouting. But through the period when you lost something or you lost your job or something has changed, uh, we believe that has changed you a little bit, sort of make you more reason, okay, you know, um, you've learned and accept the fact that sometimes things are not really there. They are not 100%. Or you lack some things. Eba kanda sa mi vingo mo ni sanong mo ni sa ngito voko na ka na ka enda laku the roma. Kaka roba kabota e na family table talk sa nangon ni matapu vale na vitan lo kene ni koa. Kaya dona ka me da na vitan lo taka na matake ni koa. How do you, uh, you know, value your life? And uh, the people around you, how do you value your spouse? Um, how do you value your children, value your family? But like the, all these things will uh, change or define moving forward how you're going to look at life moving forward after this uh, because we're coming to the end of 2021 uh, 2020 and 2021 was just taken up with with covid and COVID. pandemic and now you're anticipating 2022 what it will bring we will never know what is awaiting us we will never know but the only thing that we must change is change how we value our family our value our, sp our spouse and value the life that we live and value your life uh, because you will never know what is ahead of you. And uh, as an individual today, we would like to bring that. Uh, not only, only as an individual, as a mom and a dad, as a grandmom and a granddad like us, or just as a husband and a wife, uh, you know, being a spouse to each other. Like what I said, uh, we are always sharing. We have walked through life. We have come through life. We've been married for 37 years. Uh, we didn't know all these things that we are sharing with you overnight or when we got married we said okay this is the way to go yeah. no we were trial we had trial and error we had some good moments we have some downtime we have some good times uh just like any other marriage and any other family or for those of you that are listening today we may be talking about covid on you know that life-threatening um moment of our life that make you really realize that you know like you really uh, face the reality okay what if something happened you know the very life that you're so busy having Having, and you neglect your family or you neglect your spouse or you neglect your children because you're so uh, taken up with the work that you are having and then this happened it sort of like really made you stand back and say okay you know if something happened to my family I will never forgive myself for doing what I'm doing because even though it's well justified you bring in the money home, you, uh, you know, uh, that money that you're working for is providing shelter or roof above your, your family's uh, heads or bringing food to the table, or allowing your family to be enjoying the life you are enjoying. But this morning, we would like to, you know, knock on your door and talk about more on how you value the people around you. It may not just be pandemic that happened. So we can not So we can 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 of being told that you have uh, diabetes or you have a kidney failure or you have kidney problem. Uh, you never you never plan. You, all your life you have been playing, okay, you know, we'll, we're going to be with each other until we die. And, and that with each other until you die, it's like longer years, uh, 60, 70, or 80, or even 90 years of being together, uh, you know, like uh, your lifetime. But... When these things happen, not only pandemic, not only COVID, realize that somebody you know is sick, or in um in to be mad. You should or your children or be kind of one that wrong and then you know you heard uh, your mom used to be so chappy working around, you know, doing everything, and uh, one time unplanned and then you just hear okay your mom has got cancer or your dad something happened to your dad or got sickness a life-threatening sickness uh, that continued to you know attack him or continue to make him not well all the time so it took away what he was or what he used to be or what they used to be or what your mom used to be and that may be the moment you're facing right now to try to contemplate okay my mom you know is not well my dad is not well you know like you feel that because that's how i felt with my mom my mom when my dad passed on my mom had diabetes i never knew that my mom had diabetes she didn't know that she had diabetes uh you know we had a life of happiness we had
a life of, uh, you know, we had our farm. We had, yeah, we had a good life. I never planned. I, we never even, the conversation that we have, never had those kind of, uh, you know, um, a topic to say, what if uh, something happened? Uh, what if I die? Or what if something happened to us? Uh, what will happen to our children? We never have those kind of conversation, which we believe, the family table talk. A lot of times, maybe, yeah, we, you know, how relevant is that? What are they talking about? You know, uh, why are they telling us all these things? We are talking about these things because it's the life that we have come through. Uh, he had come through that life from the village mm -hmm. until now. I have come through that life that I'm sharing with you today. We have come through life and we look back. What could we have done uh, that would have changed? What could have done uh, that you can prepare yourself for things like that to happen? So as you listen today, uh, for me, it's good to know when, when your parents are sick or when you know that somebody is sick uh, because it prepares you. Uh, when my mom passed, it was totally different from when my dad passed. Because when I did pass, you're so sudden. You know, you were enjoying your father, having the relationship and uh, that closeness. And then all of a sudden, you know, that is taken away from you. Uh, the impact is totally different from my mom because my mom had diabetes for years. After my dad passed, uh, a year later, she found out that she had diabetes, had her leg uh, amputated, uh, lived with me. So all along, I knew that my mom is not 100%. So one day, my mom will go. When the so day comes, uh, yeah. So your relationship is prepared. Prepared. That one day, she will, she will go, yeah. you know? So you are more prepared than uh, what happened to your yes. father. Because we never talk about this thing, if, yeah. Yeah, if anything happened. Yeah. Because things can happen. can happen. Nobody knows how tomorrow. Yeah. And if when we don't talk about it, then we are not ready for it. Yeah. So when we talk about it, we are prepared, prepared. for anything. Yeah. Yes. Because information is something I believe that the you, people don't want to really talk about it because it's a reality that they don't want to face. People don't want to talk about... Um, things that uh, that they struggle with yeah yeah uh, and that's why uh, when a pandemic comes it, it comes and nobody can control it we need to face it yeah because the whole the whole world, world was yes. facing it eh? so when we don't talk about if something happened the impact on us will be greater yeah, yeah. when the, it happens when it happens yeah. Uh, you are already prepared. Yeah. In your mind, spiritually, you yeah. are already prepared. You'll miss them, but, yeah. but you, you are, are ready. You are yeah. ready. But if we don't talk about it, and suddenly, and uh, like uh, we've been talking about this uh, before, the administration of a family. Eh? Yeah. We have administration in the church. Yeah. We have administration in our workplace. Yeah. We have ad administration uh, in the government. But when it comes to a family, family. we neglect that. Yeah. Yeah. There's no, um, no even a file to say, I have five children, this file for this. And the record is yes. there. And uh, when we are not prepared, there's a lot of problem that we can face yeah. in future. And sometimes uh, families, they lose the, what they are, their inheritance yeah. that's supposed to come to them because there's no written mm. uh, administration or something that they talk about. Mm. And the children can fight over, even the uh, relatives from the mom, relatives from the dead. They can come they, if, if the children were still small. They'll try to grab whatever they, they can grab because they never talk about it. Yeah. yeah. Just so, when you mentioned that, because like I was sharing with my parents, eh, my dad uh, just went so suddenly uh, because he just collapsed at home and then there was. When we uh, actually took him to the hospital, they said that he was already dead uh, from home. Eh? And we had a shop. We had a farm, like what he said, yeah. because we never talk about it. Uh, there was never a time for, for us to say, 
you know, or for them to say, if I go or when I go, you know, I've left this, I've done this, uh, uh, you know, like to be yeah. prepared, eh? Uh, to administer, to make sure that something is written. written something in yeah, because when he actually uh, passed on, uh, we were lost. You know, like, and it can be you. You can be, you know, you can be testament to what we are sharing today. Maybe you are in that moment right now when the very person you so, you know, are reliant on, and all of a sudden, unplanned, and they are taken. Oh, it's, I don't know how to describe that feeling, but you can identify that feeling. And when that happened in that state of loss, uh, you are not, for me at the moment, I was very young. I was only 13. I was not even look out for, looking out for anything else, but you know, like you were just trying to, uh, to face the fact and to come to terms. Then your, your dad is no longer there. And I mean, you're listening today. It can be your mom, it can be your dad. Uh, you can relate to my story that, as I'm sharing this morning. And our life was good. Everything was good. Uh, yeah, my, my, my dad had a position in church. Uh, we lived in a small community. We, we, yeah, it was uh, like a close-knit um, uh, community. community. We know each other. We lived together. Yeah, it, it, it was beautiful, I, I would say. I, I had a very beautiful uh, upbringing. And um, suddenly, yeah, and suddenly uh, without plan. And we usually have this uh, Sunday night. It, we always call it at home then. It's like our Baba Cow night uh, every Sunday. And we were there in Andele Tomuka in, in uh, Lotoka, or uh, Wayabi Stage 2 then. And we were there in Singa, Lotuna Yakabi. And we were there in Singa, and we were there in Singa, and we were there in Singa, and we were there in an open lounge. We don't have any uh, lounge, or we, like it's just an open, open. room. And, uh, and there is that every Sunday night, uh, my mom will bring the whole basket of clothes of our uniform for the week and she will sit there and uh, I'm the our uniform Form for the week, or I and my dad's uh, work clothes, and everybody will just, uh, you know, sit around so, you know, and uh, we'll have tea with Mbamba Cow, and uh, we'll have Ronnie Molly with Mbamba Cow, or Zomboy uh, with Mbamba Cow. And there is a night, every night for us, or every Sunday night, that we talk about the family, and then my father will always say, okay, you know, we talk about our future. Um, at that time, we were talking, for me, you know, I, I love. I love medical things. So we were talking about the doctor and I have my other brother, my two brothers and my sister. And all this talk we used to have and my father was saying, okay, do you really want to know, you know, to do their job? And all those talks we always have every Sunday night with our Mbamba cow. And uh, everybody knows, that's, you know, it's like normal for us. For years we, we were doing that. And then that, you know, night. same Sunday night, uh, one of those Sunday nights when I'm always 13, and we had our, our shop uh, within, you know, the premise of our home, and we have a tap outside. Um, yeah, we have a tap outside. And in one of those Sunday nights, you know, one of those uh, talks, because we will all be lying down and laughing, yeah. You may have your own setup. Uh, you can relate to uh, what I'm sharing. Mm. Or maybe now we are so busy with church, uh, we are so busy with work, we no longer have those kind of time that I'm talking about now. And uh, because I have lived through that life, I try as much as possible uh, to inject the family uh, time. Uh, for my children and my grandchildren, and even for me and my husband. Uh, because individually, we are so busy with our work, we'll grab every moment, we'll grab every moment. Um, you know, back to what I'm sharing. Uh, and then do a single time of what I am. And then in the middle of everything, we were laughing and singing. We, we, we sing. Uh, I'm the one in the whole family that I don't know how to sing. But my sister sing in the choir. And my dad sing in the choir, but I don't sing. And uh, but I can only sing at home. You know, the violin and the and everything. All and we, our, our favorite song is always the polotto. We used to sing polotto. And one of those uh, Sunday night, as we uh, we are singing, and uh, my dad was sitting right there, and I'm so close to my dad. And um, in the midst of our singing, then I saw my dad lie down. He laid down. The only thing he, because I was sitting right next to him, uh, the only thing he said, he said, um, Charlie, get me a water. Uh, get me a water. And um, because I look at my dad lying down, 
We had our kitchen inside the house. Uh, at that moment, I didn't even think that there is water in the house. It's, you know, this kitchen there in the house. I ran out. I grabbed the marble glass and I ran out to the tap outside. And uh, I ran out to the tap and I was standing there. It was so dark and I ran back inside. When I ran back inside, uh, my father tried to sit up. I held on to the class, and I will never forget this. So I'm, I'm sharing something that you can relate to maybe the moments you had with your mom or with your dad. And uh, I, I just look at his face. He was looking, looking at me. He, he, he held the glass. Uh, as soon as the glass reached his uh, lips, he just took one sip. And that glass fell off from his hand, and he lied down. We didn't know what to do. Uh, we didn't know what to do. I didn't learn any CPR. Uh, we never know about, uh, yeah, we never know about basic uh, CPR to, you know, to resuscitate my dad. And he just lied down there. So we ran around. Well, we used to have uh, uh, the Shoe family, our neighbors, and uh, we were very close, <clears throat> this Indian family. So I just called out uh, to Uncle Shoe to bring his car uh, to take my dad to the hospital. And uh, when we arrived to the hospital, it was just us. Like I only share that our family is very private. And uh, it was always us. When we arrived to the hospital, we all went in with my mom and everybody, and uh, my brothers and my sister. Uh, I'll never forget that day. Uh, we went to Lotok Hospital. Uh, we rushed in. We were just, I, I was just shouting to the doctor. He came, uh, brought the curtain, he touched my dad, uh, he looked at us, uh, test everything, then he said, no, uh, I cannot do anything. I will never forget that moment. Uh, you know, when you were so close to somebody and you had so much in life, and we talk about so much of our future, on what we will become, mm -hmm. and uh, thinking uh, those conversations that we were having that he was going to be part of our future. Uh, and I know to you listening in today, I know you are joining in or when you get to hear this, I had one of my brother who is just above me. Uh, I'm the youngest in the family. Um, to my, my, my parents. And, uh, and I remember my dad, no matter what we talk about every Sunday, uh, because he's named after my, my grandfather from my maternal, my mom's uh, dad. My mom's dad, and uh, now being on the cave in the kit on a vital notico, but it's okay to buy black sheep of a family, living a kind of other cow. Now being on the cave in the kit of we talk about, uh, you know, what we want to become. And I'll always remember, uh, regardless of what my brother will say or what he wants or what he wants to become, I will never forget what my brother, my father will always say. He will always look to my brother and he always say, Tui. I always, uh, uh, you know, listening or hearing my dad saying that every Sunday. And every time my, you know, I was in the car. And it's always like that conversation. And we're always laughing about it. And uh, yeah, like the talks and the conversation we had, uh, I, never, I never planned or never anticipated that he was not going to be part of my life or part of that future we were talking mm -hmm. about. And I want to bring it home to those of you at home. Uh, maybe, you know, you say, okay, you're going, oh, you're very good. You know, you're very good. Like what I'm saying now to my grandchildren. And I said, no, you're good with that. You can be an accountant. Or you're good with that. You can be, you know, a, a lawyer. Or you're good with that. And uh, looking at your skills, I, I see one of my grandson. Uh, he'll come and make coffee. Or we'll, he will lay out the table so neatly. Apart from the others, you know, grab this container, do, do, do all these things, and then just leave the th Leave it back, but this particular grandson of mine, Israel, spread a vinaka on the table cloth, bit of a vinaka on the coffee, and I'm looking at him and I said, man, you know, Israel, that's very neat. I really like that. And I said, you know, you can even have a, a, a cafe. You can have, a, you know, a shop. So, you know, like when, you, when you're having those kind of conversation. But 
speaking to Israel, and now he's only, uh, what, 30? <laughs> he's 13 years old. And as I speak to Israel, in my heart I'm saying, you know, I'm, I'm speaking that to my, to my grandson, but will I be there? Because of the experience that I've been through, I can ask those questions. But when you haven't been through that experience, yes, yeah. you will never ask those questions. And because be to you, it's like <laughs> nothing will happen. Because most of, uh, most of the people, they, they don't go through what yes. you went through. Yeah. Uh, so life will just go on. Go on, yeah. yeah. And sometimes we uh, live a reckless life. Yeah. Because we never anticip anticipate that something, that can, happen. So something can happen. Yes. And uh, that's why it's very important when we have a family table talk. Yeah. Because we can talk about things of the future. Yeah. And when we plan, maybe your father was not uh, uh, saying in such a way of uh, planning, but slowly he was inputting mm. you know, the things into his children's yeah. life. And that's why we talk about our, our family. And we can only talk about our family mm. if we are staying together. Yes. So uh, back to the news that we heard last yeah. night. People start to realize the quality, the yeah. beauty. The eh? value of their yeah. family. Yeah, the value and uh, the, the beautiful of being together. Yes. As I said before, when we start the program, we were introduced into a fast lane. Yeah. Eh? Everything going fast. You go get a job and, yeah. you know, be successful. It's so because, fast and then you don't recognize the, the quality the qual of life that yeah. is there with you. Because to us, the value is the position, the money. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, when we, whenever we change the value, yeah. we will change the lifestyle. See? If we value money, then our lifestyle will change because we want to achieve money. Yeah. Yeah. But if you value family then our lifestyle will change because of the value. Yes. What, whatever you value, whatever you value, it'll, it'll become your lifestyle. Yes, yeah. it will define you. Yeah. Eh? See, and sometimes us, you're busy trying to make that money and you're losing out on the you, very thing that means a lot to you. No, as I said, because yeah. you don't value yeah. your, your family, family, your family time, yeah. uh, we don't know what we're losing out. Yes. So when pandem pandemic yeah. comes, yeah. we... We were forced to stay together at home. That's why they have a lot of domestic yeah. abuse. When we don't handle properly, the people handle properly, oh, what a beautiful thing to be together. Yes. Even though the fridge is empty, even though we are yeah. losing our job. But this is more beautiful yeah. than having money. But some people, when they come home, they, they, don't, they don't accept what happened. Yes. So they come home and they don't... Uh, uh, have patience for one another, yeah. uh, and they don't value. So the they hit out in a different it, way. Yeah. yeah, because of uh, what happened out there, it affects yeah. their relationship. Yes, because the way they handle, or maybe they don't want to sit down and accept. Yeah, something has happened. Something, yeah. and you, nobody has the power to change it. Yes, yeah. So we need to, we need to change according to yeah. what we face. We actually look back, uh, you know, and review some of the cases. I would believe it stems out from anger. You know, like you're angry with the fact you lost your job, or yes. you're angry with the fact there's no food on the table. You were just so angry with life, or why it has to change. Yeah. You know, when you, when you lose your job, be, if I go back to the value, right? yeah. because you value your job so much, yeah. and, and, then and you, you, lost it. you, you lost it or taken away from you. Yeah. Yeah? And some people will tell, they, they see it. They, they don't lose their job. It, it is taken away. They were, you know, because they don't see the company struggling. Mm, yeah. So they need to lay off stuff. Yeah. For them, their job was taken away. We've been working. We give all our life to this yeah. company and just uh, yeah. something happened. They lay us off. Yeah. Yeah. So you're so angry. Toward, you're angry towards, towards your the company, the company yeah. and your boss. And with that anger that you are walking around. Yeah. Then you, Carrying it with you. Yeah. Because when you are hurt, it'll be very easy to For you to, to hurt go and hurt somebody else. Somebody eh? else, yeah. yeah. And that's why a lot of domestic abuse, a lot of uh, fighting, a lot of separation, yes. not, not divorce already. They just went their way. Mm. Like they can't stand one another yeah. for that certain time because yeah. it's been one month, two months, and going on to five months, six months. Mm. And they, uh, they, they don't have the, pa the patient uh, to, to face with yeah. one another. And, and there were some cases, and some cases like they were isolated because they were in different containment areas. Yes. And 
you know, it can work to their advantage. So mm -hmm. they miss their family and they can't wait to come they together. They can't wait to come Because together. they were without it for all this time. They miss it so much. So when they come together, it's like, you know, they realize it, it, the It's value. a lesson to them. Yes. And some people on the other side. They can't wait to they, get away from Yeah, they family. can't wait. And, and they develop other relationship yeah. wherever they are. So there's a lot of uh, left and right. Eh? Depending on how you, f you value, you, you value your value yeah. or what you value or whatever is golden to you yeah. and your respond. And uh, like uh, the news last night when we were watching those two uh, couple, yeah. uh, the couple and, uh, and a mom. Yeah. And the mom can't wait, you know, yes. after taking uh, her children to, to school and she was saying, Man, I miss all these things. Yes. So she doesn't want to go back to work. Yeah. Because she responds positively to what happened. Yes. And she missed out paying a nana, paying somebody yeah. to take the children to school. Now, she spent full time yeah. as a housewife, which she enjoy. So no wonder 4.4 4 million. million, they don't want to go back to work. Yes. Yeah. They're just working from home and having more time with their family. Yes. And, uh, and because... We are resilient to the things around us yeah. that we can make do. Eh? We can make do with whatever yes. around us because we love, see, back to value. Because they value their family. Yeah. Okay, anything around the family I can do as long as I keep my family. Yes. See? So why go to work and spend eight hours away from my family when I, I can stay around, my computer is here, yeah. and I come up with uh, maybe some sort of uh, business that I can stay at home. Yeah. So I have both. To sustain me, yeah. yeah. I have my family, and I can receive money yes. from that. Yeah. Yeah. But they don't want to go back to their, to their work because they found out the value, the beauty yeah. of the family. And I believe as you're listening in today, you know, as you listen to the conversation yeah. we're having, a little bit, and I'm going to be tiki buki na daka daka. You hesitate a bit, like me, yeah. uh, you know, to come back to work. That is a struggle for for me uh, to come back to the office, and uh, I was really enjoying. Yeah, uh, pandemic has brought a lot of negatives uh, for all of us, or most of us have mentioned. We are always speaking pandemic, so it's you know it's negative. Eh? But for me, uh, it sounds awkward. But every time we're having a family devotion, I'm always saying, you know, I'm grateful for this COVID, or I'm grateful for this pandemic, uh, because for me, it changed my life. Not only changed my life. It gave me more family time. Uh, it gives me an excuse to stay home or I don't need to explain uh, my whereabouts or to say that I cannot be home because I'm there. Uh, there are certain things that you cannot I give excuses for or you cannot always explain. But when that happened, it just usher you to, you know, for me, it usher me to the right place to be home uh, with my grandchildren, to be a normal mom, a normal grandmom, uh, you know, to cook, to sit and just to you watch just them, have, yeah. hear them, uh, watch cartoons with them or, you know, do all those things. I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, like for those kind of things, okay, you know, for us to do the thing and how do we survive? Yeah, we can still survive. And uh, we, you know, when, when the time came for us to come and do full time, and I was still coming to work every now and then, like two or three days a week. And when the time come back to normal, when normalcy, you know, begin to creep in and then expected of you to come to work, uh, I struggled with that. I struggled with the fact, for me, my take was I really miss my grandchildren. Uh, I just miss being home. Mm. And I miss uh, the quality time that we used to have together, you know, undivided attention for the whole day. We can just go out, you know, drive out, I talk. Will. Or walk and yeah. talk. Yeah. Uh, we had, you know, like your mind is, and your attention is all there. And that is the beauty yeah. that a lot of people that they start to realize that they don't achieve with the position, with yeah. the wealth. Yes. It's back at home. Yeah. And so when we talk about fam uh, family table talk, it's uh, food for thought that a lot of people. Maybe that you are going out there trying to achieve and trying to get uh, you know, uh, wealth. But uh, there is something at home that there is no money can buy. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, and like, sometimes when we're not careful, when we're busy uh, trying to build up or trying to work and invest, 
uh, we are so busy. And then by the time we turn back, we actually lose our family. Mm. Either the children have outgrown and they've moved on with their lives. And just when the time you say to yourself, okay, you know, enough making money, I've made enough money, and now I want to enjoy. And by the time you turn around uh, to enjoy the very people that you have gone out to work for, uh, they've left home. They've moved on with their lives or... Uh, you know, maybe one of you have a fair uh, because you found somebody else or they found somebody else because you hardly at home. You hardly have those, uh, uh, you know, a bonding or good uh, couple uh, relationship. Um, it has been affected because of we are busy. Like what I said, uh, we are sharing with you this morning. It's validated. Yes. We're not saying that it's wrong to work or wrong to invest. We're not saying that it's, uh, you know, that you don't need to go and work. No, we, we are saying that whatever that you're doing, never ever allow anything to replace the value of your family. Uh, never allow anything or anybody else in your workplace or maybe in the church, uh, because we are in the church, or maybe in your community, in your family, never ever allow anybody else to replace the value of your spouse or replace the value of your children, children. in your heart. Uh, you can love everybody, but try and take the very people that means uh, life to you uh, to be so precious to your heart. And we have uh, lived our life, uh, our parents, we left them, uh, managed to find good jobs. Uh, maybe you've moved out from home, um, you know, renting out. Yeah. You can afford it. Have your own car. You'll continue to live on. And you have your parents back at home. Um, maybe one of them is sickly or they are not really well. And you don't even have the time to check back at home to say, mm. you know, dad, mom, how are you too? What are you two having today? Or anything I can come in, do and help. But you're so engrossed and taken up with your friends, a new life that you have created for yourself. And uh, you may be listening today as a young boy or a young woman, uh, have just started work without being married, but you've left home and create another Your life for yourself and you've forgotten about your parents altogether the very uh parents that have helped you and guided you nurtured you uh, to reach the level of life that you mm -hmm. have and uh, so this family table talk we just want to bring uh, to your table and bring to your knowledge uh this morning maybe this is the time there's no other better time than this this is the time as we come towards the end of the year um, in the two month of Akandua and uh, relook and uh, recheck, have another self check and uh, relook at your life. What do you value the most? If you value your life, then how are you living your life? How do you look after your health? How do you look after your well being? Uh, do you know yourself? What about your hours of rest? What about the last medical check that you've had? Yeah. Any ailments you've heard? What have you done about it? So, if you really value your life, you'll say to yourself, No, I need to live a little bit longer for my children. I need to live a little bit longer for my family. So, regardless of what you desire, because you love your life and you want to live a little bit longer, then you'll need to accept the fact in your heart there are certain things that you need to go without and that's the decision not yes. done by the doctor or done by your spouse or spoken to you by your children it's a decision that you need to make for yourself because you are the custodian of your life and then you relook at yourself and say okay how do i value my spouse and if i value my spouse how much time am i spending with my spouse and if i value my spouse what have I done, uh, you know, to please him or to please her? Do I make her happy or make him happy? Or do I just make him or make her cry all the time? Or what about my ways towards him or her? Or how am I treating her or him? And what about the valuable time that I've had with them? What kind of investment that I've done, uh, you know, towards his or her life? Because I've value that relationship and what about your children how do you value them and have you spent much time with them Really look at your life it may be as we come towards the end of the year this is a good time to do a self-check yes. this is a good time 
time, you know, to do uh, your family check. Check about your life. What means the most to you and what is so valuable to your heart. And uh, it's uh, no other better time for you to reprioritize uh, your life, reprioritize the way that you look at life. And if you value your children, grandfather, uh, how much time are you spending with them? Or how much valuable time are you contributing to their life? Or are you there for them when they, you know, asking you to do something? What about the attitude of your heart? Are those are the things that really matters now. Uh, so we have our realization self-check as parents, as grandparents, and also we do it as uh, children and grandchildren. Uh, and we need us to talk, I mean, we want to talk about it this morning because we need everybody. As you come towards the end of the year, just look back over the years. If it's hard for you to look back up, you know, past 2021, just look to 2020. Uh, do a quick uh, check of your life. How have I lived for my life? And what about my percentage? of my, you know, of my life. How much time do I spend with my family uh, compared to the time that I spend in my workplace, the hours it takes me to drive towards my workplace, and I just come home and just to witness that my daughter or my son have gone to sleep already. I don't have that time. And early in the morning, before they're even up, I'm leaving the office, you know, leaving home already to come to work. So maybe this is a good time uh, for you to uh, mm. realize in your heart and, and plan. Over this year, for 2021, and when you re, you know, assess and reprioritize, do something about it. Before the year end, uh, try and do something. And uh, spend some quality family time. If you have a village, if you take them. Or take them out. Or spend some quality time with them. Uh, you know, find leave or find some time to spend it with your family. Or if you're abroad, you know, uh, outside Fiji, busy working throughout the year, and you take so long or so in the distance for you to go and work uh, throughout the week you only have a little window maybe in the weekend and that weekend is already taken up by church activities if you belong to church and uh, there is no family quality quality time you need to inject that quality into your family uh, whether it's during the week you know in, in the moments of your busy work life or during the weekend in the business of your being committed maybe to community work or maybe to your society or maybe to the church like us we lead a ministry. We are so busy uh, with the ministry, doing the ministry work. And apart from that, I work for my TV and um, company has its own demand. And then we have a family. We have our grandchildren. So with all that at hand, we still have to find quality time with our children, a quality time with our family. And one of those quality time that we have established for our family is every Saturday morning. This morning, Uh, beautiful weather, drizzling, raining a little bit, all out there in the seawall uh, that you can witness your children running around, your grandchildren running around. Um, you know, maybe it's not the uh, um, the ideal place, but it, it's never a about the place. It's about the the people around you. It's about the quality uh, that you give or inject to your family. And all the time, it's, uh, it's available. We, yeah, we it's have there. Yeah, we have 24 hours in a day yeah. that we can spend time. We can spend time with our children if we're staying together. We can spend time with our family. There is no excuse. Yes. No? Uh, it, goes, yeah, it goes back to your value. Yes. When you value your family, you value your your home, your home timing. Then you'll make, make do. Time. You'll yeah. make the time, because uh, I mean, 24 hours in a day. It's either early in the morning, like for us, every Saturday morning, about four o'clock, four thirty. Everybody driving down, and uh, uh, walk. Yeah. Uh, they have fun together. Take pictures. Selfie, uh, even our prayers individually. It's a time that yeah. we spend together. And uh, 
when you value whatever you value, then you will make sure that the time. So we are not saying for them not to oh, uh, just concentrating yes. on their family and no work. Just to have a good yeah. balance. When you are in the village, you, you can go together yes. to the plantation. Yeah. You go together fishing and you go. You, you, you can have even more time if you live in the village. But sometimes we are so uh, busy with uh, community, society, even in the church, and, and even in our workplace. All these things, uh, they bite into the yeah. bell to one piece of cake. Yes. Then we forgot the most important thing. Yeah. Because the community and the church and uh, maybe our village We'll go, place, yeah, yeah. We, we'll go. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go well. We'll flourish if uh, the the foundation at home is good. Is good. Mm. And that's why it's very important when you when you value your your family, and that means you value the time with your family. Yeah, and that means. If you value your family and you value the time with your family, then you will make time yes. to have your family. Yeah. And there is no excuse yeah. in that area. It's just uh, the way that we manage. We become a custodian of what is given to us that we must manage well the time that we have. As I said before, we have uh, 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week. And we have 30 days in a month. So we have enough time uh, to, uh, to be with our loved one. Yes. Because when that foundation is uh, rock solid, then whatever we face in this life, we will handle it well. Mm. Uh, there are some people that they separated because, okay, you go overseas, you go and work. No. But if we, if we are not careful, eh, the very thing that we, we yeah. try to, uh, uh, to do uh, for the betterment of our family, uh, become, then it becomes the very enemy yeah. of uh, your family. Yes. And it's very, very important. When you invest in something, just make sure that does not take away the, the value of your time, yes. the time that is taken mm. for you to, to be connected with yeah. your family, especially as a husband and wife, mm. and especially for children. You know, sometimes when we uh, invest into the things of uh, uh, the secular world, we tend we tend to drift away from our from our parents. And by the time we found out they are already passed on or they are already far away, mm. and uh, we will miss them, and we will have uh, some in our heart, like a guilty conscience, mm. but we can't do anything about it because we mismanage the time. time. Yeah, mm. we don't handle the time well, and it's uh, it's a time that yeah. we encourage uh, uh, the viewers. First of all, we thank all the viewers that are viewing this <laughs> this program. Just trying to uh, to put some. Uh, values into our family. Yeah. You can be watching, having, uh, especially it's uh, drizzling this yeah. morning. Maybe some of us, you are taking time to get up on Saturday yes. morning Let, and you are having Saturday. tea yeah. and uh, you are watching the television and uh, you are sitting as uh, friends, you are sitting uh, as a family, brothers and sisters and even your parents there and you are gluing into the television. We are just sharing that uh, maybe we can improve uh, our time together as a uh, family and uh, take time to, uh, to spend family yeah. time. Because that family time, 
I believe it's a medicine and it's a solution to whatever that you are facing. Whatever yes. the mountain, how high is the mountain, whatever the rough seas that you're about to sail across in this life. We believe a family time is, you know, is a time that uh, uh, prepares you, yes. uh, especially your character, yeah. your, your lifestyle. Uh, because you learn a lot from your parents. Mm. You, you have a time to listen to your yeah. parents, a time that you sit, uh, sit around in their presence. Because they will not be there for the rest of your life. The time will come that they will pass on. Just like us, we always share with our children, the time will come that we will pass on. That is the reality of life. Yes. The time that will be born and the time that we will die. Yeah. In between, we must manage. We, we well. must manage yeah. well. And that happens and to everybody. Everybody. Whether you live in the village or you live in town, yeah. you live overseas, wherever you live, remember, time to be born and the time to die. Yes. You prepare your life well and uh, manage it well. There's a lot of accident on the road, uh, people uh, uh, drown or maybe a fire. There are sometimes that we are careless uh, uh, on, uh, on the things around us. Mm. We, we, we must spend time together because we never know yeah. how tomorrow. And I believe uh, after the last uh, you know, pandemic, a lot of us, or some of you, um, few that I've heard, read that we took the time to revisit uh, families and to say hello or to know that they exist yeah. uh, because people were very busy in with their own uh, families busy with their own life busy, uh, busy with their own work and uh, during pandemic you may be one of them uh, who took the time to drive around or Uh, you know, to go to the uh, island, go to the village, because it's uh, the leave that you never used to have, uh, the extra days on your hands, the time uh, that was given. So we can, and the lack of the lay, see Kobana Nawekanda, and the Sangabek in the South Tundunango Nambalabu, and the Vinanumi, and the Kamea the weekend, and the Lissi Kobandunambul, and the Kotenikin, and Dona To, and Dona Tangsuka, and Dona Beka, and the Kilo Flower. And on the way, see Kobana, and the Kotenikin, and the Biscuit, and the Nurl. And on the Koka. Na <laughs> Eva kai kota ba endua na endua conviction, se endua realization lebo ina matene londa na na bim bim din na na ndo bula ba kamata bumbale. Eso weke na David tan lobi na kani viti na vi kame na na kava na vi kai dala kuduruma na rendre nimbula do weke nrau na lako meliva kada kame kota ba ne lavo me roni vuke na na mudo bula me vina ka me vina ka na na mudo bula na na mudo bula lebe kame tarva kawoti se so na kand me roto bula lebe kana ngone ye lebe we can then you want to do kin and we come here and one on the lock kin. But you can sing any kill and on the way sing any mataka. Now can and the cup to kin the sabin beach cooking about matapumali. Ning one have the kin and the bean be my matapumali. Nakale ya dobe we kimro roro se nakale ya dobe ko ko ela ko ese ngani ndoro ni tarova ba bo ke ba ke vinaka vinaka to na non dambula ba kayalo bula ni ngrabi klo na non dambula ni bilomani na non dambula ni non dabonding men da bibole kati me roni tarovi ke na be karoni ado e lebo na be kando la ko chuma be be kirao na ni rotutu ba kaloto Nabi kami masulaki, elimu na matupu ba lere mi bimbiu, ya randuwa wata na dola ngona. They come in agreement one time and they and they say to themselves, okay, we're going to plan this, we're going to make uh, uh, extra money, come back, and uh, or send some money home uh, to make, um, you know, elevate or uh, make it a little bit better, uh, you know, your lifestyle, and then you will come back. And uh, I believe nearly about 90% of that didn't happen. 
either you go and moved on with your life and you may be listening to us today and you've completely forgot that you had that conversation once uh, with your family the but you're moving on and the children are waiting they heard they know they used to uh, hear you on the phone watch you on the phone maybe either on uh, Facebook yeah. or Viber and now it's no longer there the moment that you left having your crying moments missing each other now it's no longer there because you've moved on with your life and they're suffering here back at home so those are things that has happened realistically people don't want to talk about it but it's all it's there and we want to bring it to this table and talk about it because yeah. uh, if you're already in that mode then uh, if there is a way that you have chosen and then you need to challenge your heart and ask yourself you know is how can I forget my children back at home or how can I forget my wife uh, you ask yourself well if you have made the decision you say to yourself okay I've forgotten them and this is the way that I've lived or this is the way that I've chosen to live uh, this is what I want to be. Then you, you just need to answer your own, uh, own questions and uh, find solace in your heart. But if this kind of questions you ask yourself and make you realize what is more valuable to you, maybe today is the decision that you must make. Or maybe you made that mistake and you say to yourself, okay you know this is something good uh, compared to what i've left back at home or maybe after listening to us today they need really um you know dawn in your heart what is very valuable to you then make the decision today to return to your family uh to go back to the people who loved you for who you are uh, maybe you say to yourself okay my wife doesn't really love me or my husband doesn't really look after me this man looks after me or this woman looks after me better than them but always remember you made a vow uh, in good times or bad times, in those moments uh, of good health or you're sick, all those vows you mentioned. And uh, with that moment uh, that you have relieved with your, your spouse, for you just to be, you know, to be uh, taken up with the fact that you easily forget them, reprioritize. This morning, the only thing that we uh, bring to the table is just those uh, realizations uh, in your life for you to be convicted and to ask yourself, is this the life that I want? And how much do I value my life? And uh, how much do I, is this the spouse that I love? And uh, is this the wife that I love? This is the husband that I love. And how much do I value? Mm. And how much time have I given uh, the attention mm. that I've given them? And if this is the children that I really love, I mean, I cannot imagine life without my husband and my children and my grandchildren. I cannot imagine life like that. So and you I, just, I treasure. Just, <laughs> I, I, I grab every moment. No matter how busy I am, I will grab every moment. Uh, yesterday we were actually at a workshop too long and uh, we just sat there uh, we didn't finish until nearly nine mm -hmm. o'clock uh, last night after nine. <laughs> yeah uh, yeah yes. and uh, we were there from uh, you know uh, 10 30 in the morning and uh, even during that um, you know during the the, the workshop Which? I cannot say man I, I, the devotion is finished I'm, I'm thinking of my our family back at home and because we have our devotion at seven o'clock and I know that I'm not having dinner with them uh, last night so I kept on saying oh you know we missed a devotion and uh, how much more time do we have to go and those are the questions like I get so convicted with even though it's just one night because I miss my family I value my family I value my my children I value my grandchildren and uh, it the the future that I, I don't know uh, that is out there I, I that's why I, I believe in God I, I'm a Christian and I serve God and I don't know what is there ahead of me uh, and uh, and I, I don't know what is there before my children and my grandchildren but the only assurance because I serve God and I love God and I'm having that trust that he will look after them. But there is one thing that is always at the back of my mind. Like if something happened to me, what about my grandchildren? Mm -hmm. My grandchildren that I'm, I'm looking after because they, uh, the parents are no longer there. The parents have moved on with their own life, have their own families. And I have this, you know, innocent uh, pair of eyes looking at me every day, enjoying life every day with me. And there is a question at the back of my mind that I'm pleading uh, to God because I believe in God and I'm always asking God please you know uh, give me that lifetime that I can uh, look, look after up. my grandchildren so because of, the, of uh, how I value my grandchildren or value mm -hmm. my family 
I, I don't make an excuse for anything. No matter how busy I am, I will make time. And even if it means for me not to sleep or to wake up early in the morning, I will make time uh, because I love them. And, and I know sometimes I'm with my husband and we can be saving a cup of coffee, coming back from the sea war. Mm. And uh, during pandemic, we'll <clears throat> come to fresh, uh, you know, fresh, fresh choice. choice. They have a little... Uh, you know, cafe at the back. Uh, that is nice. You can get toasted sandwich for nine dollars with uh, you know free drink. And uh, those morning we used to come and stand there. You yeah. know, I mean we Being can together, make coffee yeah. home or we have bread at home. Uh, for me, well, there was just a moment that is just me and my husband because when I go home, I have my grandchildren. Uh, I have my children, and I treasure those moments. Sometimes maybe pushing the trolley. Yeah. Uh, you know, picking up a little few, a few things that we need at home. And right. sometimes I'm looking at him and I say, you know, one time, you know, you won't be here. Or one time, one of us will not be here uh, because we are so close. And I, I love my husband. And, uh, and those moments, those are reality of life that we don't want to talk about it. It's like we live life that nothing will happen. Uh, but something will happen one day. And it can happen. Uh, it's best to talk about it now for you to prepare yourself. Because when it happened, you miss them, but you're good. I, I believe uh, when you value your family, and that's what yeah. happened. That's what happened back yeah. to, the, to the news. Yeah. Yeah. Then they realized the sweetness of the family. Yeah. The whole world is missing that. So yeah. they changed their life to... Yeah. They, they, when they come back home yeah. they, because of the pandemic... Uh, company closing down, mm. then they realize, hey, this is the very thing that we are searching for. We work so hard, we're getting so much, but this is the very thing that we are yeah. searching for. You know? And that's why 4.4 million. Resigned. Yeah. I mean, yes. that's million, 4.4 yeah. million. It shows that a lot of people start to realize the beauty of a family. Of a family. Yeah. So when we start this program, Family table talk, yeah. I believe that most of the family that they follow us yeah. on this program, they start to realize the beauty about the family. Yes. You know, as you said, you know, I look forward to the time that we normally go to the supermarket. Because when we walk around, we are conversing, we are talking, yeah. you know. We, maybe we are shopping. Yeah. But it's different because we are shopping. And Together. Yeah. Yeah. We are shopping to the very person that we love the most. Yeah. So that shopping is so different from any other shopping. Yes. So whatever we do, when we sit together in the cafeteria, sometimes we go down to, to moments, uh, sometimes to the rock. Or maybe in Flagstaff, what we call that place, uh, the Grace... Uh, yeah, yeah. Petisia. Petisia, when we sit uh, or in the Kasi. Yeah. Those times, those moments, those are the, the added time that uh, we enjoy as husband and wife. Yeah. Yeah. Because when we come home, we, have, uh, we, we can be just sitting around there uh, holding hands and our, and our grandchildren. <laughs> And our children there, no. Like, yeah. We, that's the time yeah. for everyone. So, so we, we enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. We have our moments, and we also have our moments with our grandchildren. And then I know they're listening this morning. Uh, we have our moments that we, I mean, we could have just go and do it ourselves, but we, I always lug my grandchildren. It's okay. Uh, Othaniel, one of my grandson, he's an expert when it comes to shopping. shopping. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I love to take him every time uh, when I go. And then I'll always ask him, okay, Othena, I'll you game. Uh, you know, are you willing? Would you like to come? And uh, he's just my perfect boy when it comes to shopping. <laughs> and, uh, and like what I said, we could have just done it, or I could have sent one of my children to do the shopping or ask somebody else to do. But those moments are priceless. And we'll take the whole grandchildren. So one will be doing the stacking, one will be, you know, picking things off the counter, and we'll have the list to, to work with. <laughs> and we have our, yeah, our grandchildren's friends at home. We have Junior, we have Carl. 
follows. So, and after we do everything according to the list, and then we I will. Okay, now it's yours. Uh, get your snacks to this value, and then you can bring it to, you know, to the trolley. Uh, what Othaniel does, uh, which is so unique, um, he pulls things. If you, if you ever look at our trolley, if Othaniel is, is with us, uh, you will think that it's a, a supermarket shelf. He just tacked them up so neatly. It's like a supermarket shelf uh, again. Um, and he has the patience to do that. And uh, when Israel or my other grandchildren will come, you know, put the things anyhow in the, in the trolley, I just see his eyes, you know, like he's looking at them, you know, like, scolding them put it properly because he'll stack them up so so neatly and uh, and those are the moments like those are the moments that are you so are priceless like what i said i can get somebody else to do it or i can send somebody else to do it but we do it together with our grandchildren because it's one of those moments that we love uh, to do it together and sometimes i will uh, say to my son you know you know if not or your wife uh, is free and uh, bring the children so i'll go i look for a moment that i can spend even though we are together i can spend some quality time with my son and his family i spend quality time with my daughter and uh, her husband and uh, i'll spend quality time with my husband or ha i spend quality time with my grandchildren and there are moments where the whole family just go out and spend quality time together and sometimes most of the times during pandemic on the first phase and the second phase as well, what we did as a whole family, uh, we went and we had a few trolleys and it was a quality time for us uh, as a family, but we were buying for other families. And it was uh, uh, such a good thing because, you know, you will see your family being part of uh, blessing uh, another family. So it can be one kg sugar, two kg sugar mm -hmm. on all the different trolleys and uh, an opportunity that we can do together uh, to bless a few other homes. But it was more fun doing together as a family and there was our quality time. So yeah. quality time can be anything, but your concentration, undivided attention is just solely on your family. I remember this morning, we encouraged our 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 grandchildren yeah. to come to uh, to the seawall, sea eh? and uh, this morning drizzling. Uh, you see them standing in their standing own corners, in their own corners, praying, uh, praying, and uh, those are the time that they will remember. Yeah. You know, they will remember uh, 10, 20, 30 years to come. They will remember that seawall. They will remember what, uh, and um, it's also teaching them. Uh, the value. To the yeah. value of family and the value of the creator. Mm -hmm. uh, the value of the creator. That there is someone there that knows whatever we are doing. And all life. Is yeah. <laughs> and uh, when they go out, whether yeah. it's a high tide yeah. or it's a low tide, uh, the value of knowing that there is a God. The respect. And even the time that we sing together in our family devotion at 7 o'clock, we can sing polo to and most of the time choruses. And those are the, not only we serving God, are the time that we sit together yeah. and we go around one by one. Just say your gratitude. Just thank the Lord of, of what happened today. Forget about yesterday. Forget about tomorrow. Just today. Yeah. And even that, not only that we are serving God, not only a devotion time, it's also the time, time in, yeah. invested. They, in they will court. remember. They will remember. Years to come. They will and remember. As and when they do have their families. Yes. Well. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it goes back to your what family. you value. Yes. Yeah. Whenever you value something, it will change your lifestyle yeah. to, to bring the value that you, that you know. Yeah. And people have different values. Yeah. People... Uh, uh, I mean, some have, value their work. That's why they are always in the workplace. Yes, place, some value twenty-four hours. Uh, the position, some value money or wealth, and they will go out. They, they will, yeah. and they can do any trick under their sleeves to get what they value. Yeah. So, when we teach, uh, like a fam family table talk, in fact, we indirectly teaching the value of a family. Yeah. yeah. So I believe uh, it will bring the family together. 
even because of that family values together, it brings that moral values. Yes. Yeah? The, the, the value of the family, the value of the community, mm. that may be the answer to, you know, sometimes the children are very rebellious. Rebellious, yeah. yeah. Because they were not taught or yeah. maybe they are not seeing the value yeah. of the family, the value of uh, uh, the mother, the value of uh, a wife. And when they grow up, they will respect their wife. You know, those, those boys here, mm. back at home. When, when the time comes that they will have a wife, they will respect their wife because they they seen in our life how I respect you, how I honor you. And uh, for the two girls, and now we have Lekela, the three girls, the time that they will grow up in, they will honor and respect their husband mm. you know, because of what they see. So it's not only we are saying the value now, but it's instilled the value and yeah. moral. And uh, the, the no-go zone, the no-go area in, the, in, in their future. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe the society, we can see the society like it's, uh, it's breaking down in moral values because they are not seeing it. Mm. And it's about time that we invest in back into that. A yes. time of sitting together, yeah, just sitting so. together, yeah. just having food together. Yeah? Mm. Start with our dinner, start with our breakfast. Because the lunch, some will be in their yeah, school, the workplace. workplace. Yeah. But even sometimes the breakfast, we, we can't stay together. But there must be a meal. In a day together. that you must sit together, and that's the time that we talk and we laugh and we deal with issues. Yeah. Yeah. So regardless of how busy you may be with, with your work or even in the community, uh, try and find uh, a practical time. Other than say, okay, we all meet for breakfast, or we all meet for lunch, or we all meet for dinner, and then it doesn't happen. So throughout the year, that has never happened. Uh, try to practically plan a time uh, that you can be together. It can be dinner. For us at home, it's dinner. dinner. Uh, breakfast, we start early, go our separate ways. Lunch, we are in different places. Uh, dinner uh, is the only place that we can be home. And sometimes we're not all together as a family. So uh, for Saturday, it can be a different crowd. Sunday, Sunday is the mass that everybody uh, Lunch are there. Together. Lunch together. Indeed. And uh, dinner together. So uh, during the week, it can be either or. It's either they're yeah. busy with their work or they're away from home. And uh, it doesn't really happen the way that it should happen. Or even the family devotion time. For us, we have 7 o'clock. And um, most of the time, it's not the whole family. It's either lacking my daughter or lacking my son or lacking uh, somebody else. Uh, we are not totally there as a family and uh, and something that we're still working towards don't don't get us wrong that we you know we uh, that we are trying to say to you that our life is perfect or we are doing it and then you must go this way no we are sharing something uh, that can you know give you insight on how to better moving forward and also we are talking about it because it makes us even by talking about it we are being convicted uh, that we need to do better mm -hmm. and do something about it like what I said uh, for our devotion we are the lacking either and uh, sometimes we're starting at seven it can be just uh, him and the boys and then you know coming monday, out after seven monday and wednesday yeah. i will not be there because he's uh, uh, yeah. training on Monday. Monday we are yeah. both uh, doing a church uh, program. And uh, Wednesday, Wednesday he goes out for online sale and he's not with us. Mm -hmm. and, and then we plan or organize things within uh, you know, the devotion time to accommodate the fact when he's in or when the whole family is in. And uh, some of the programs in the church, we do Zoom meet because of the way that you know, things have happened. And, and sometimes, some of the week, alternating week, uh, we are taking out for Zoom for the whole week, uh, Zoom for this division, Zoom for meeting for, you know, uh, foreign. And uh, that week, we try. For me, I try as much as possible because 8 o'clock, I'll put the time, it's 8. So we'll try and have our devotion at 7. We finish our devotion, and then we'll go for that Zoom meet. Zoom meet. Uh, we will never, I will never compromise the fact to cancel one or cancel. If anything, I will cancel or move. I will make sure it's a church program, not my family because my family is valuable to me and that is my moment for my family and sometimes so he will be needed or required to do zoom i don't need to go and he'll sit with us and i will tell them okay continue to do, do, do this he'll come in at this time because he's having devotion here as a family so what we are trying to tell you you may you may tell us today you're so busy 
or with your work or with church activities or with the community itself that you, you may not or have the answer uh, to bring their quality to your family. Um, you can, you will make time, you will find time. And uh, as we share, uh, we, we are busy in whatever that we are doing, but I will find time. Because for me, that time is so priceless. Sometimes I'm so busy, and I look at my time, and it's quarter to seven. I'll call home and I say, please, hold on. Uh, why want a devotion? I'll just hold until we get home. And sometimes, you know, when we're leaving from here, <clears throat> I'm calling home. Give us five to ten minutes to reach home uh, so we can have our devotion together. I value our family devotion. It's just me and my family. Yeah, we speak to thousands. We on our position in the church, um, for the church, we do that. But for me, when it comes to the value of that family devotion for my family, oh, it's so priceless. I will never allow anything to replace that because it's my moment with my children and my grandchildren. Uh, to come together and just to appreciate one another. And to top it off, what Gasele just shared, when we say our gratitude, we are so grateful for each other. We are so grateful to God for what life has bring us. We are so grateful for the meals that come on the table. Uh, because if we are not careful, we get so arrogant and we, we get so uh, proud of um, you know, life that you live thinking, yeah, food's supposed to be there, and we become so ungrateful. But having those moments of gratitude has really humbled us. And, uh, and I love those moments, those humbling moments. So as we come towards the end of our program today, we have about 10 minutes, a little bit more <laughs> than 10 minutes. Um, if anything that we would like to instill in our lives today or instill in the families today, we would just like you uh, ask yourself, what about your current status for your family? What about you? Where are you at? And how much do you love life? And how much do you love your family? And if you do, what are you doing about it? Because you can love your life, you can love your family, but the life you're living is not supporting your love for your life and a love for your family. But, Nambula iko taletaka, iko binakata mumbula mbalavo, iko binakata mo mo marutaka no matibo vale. But iko sinivu mbita nambula iko taletaka iko mbuli tiki kida. Maybe na mataka ni ko ndo na ngono bi na kavi kenda, menda tarongi kenda. If I want that and love that, then what do I do? Ask yourself, what do I do? I ask myself that all the time. And he asks himself that all the time. That has made, he made changes to his life. A lot of changes he had made to his life um, because he values his life and also he values his family. And a lot of change I have made to my life because I value my family and I value his life and I value my grandchildren. Mm -hmm. I can earn, I can make life, I can invest, I can make whatever that I want to make um, in the world, but nothing, uh, there's nothing as valuable or priceless that can replace uh, the value of my family in my heart. And that is what we want to instill in our lives today. When you talk about uh, the devotion and the gratitude, yeah? mm -hmm. uh, it's a time that uh, you will see that uh, the children, the grandchildren, that uh, they participate and they, they understand that there is a God. Yeah. You know? And I believe that's uh, very important. And, uh, yeah. 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 Somebody's 
ni ka na tu kini buru buru wa ya ni na dulu sih kan sudu dulu sih kan ya maruinga na bulongo balta bulu mata wale kawo sibi ni da dua enaga ledi goma nondo bula sabran ya eba kayo e kauta tiko mai na na bakasa ma me ka ko kini na ndo ndo ka me na ka ko ni ali ni na le ra ona buli ni na le ra ona da ka me ngai na numitiko na na humble beginning eh Rauni dati kuna pali binaka, rauta rauta ngani struggle tu kuna bula. Rauni dati kui tauni, tu toka tiko, rau kete tu nakal libo libo motoka. Ya rauta ngani dati kui sarang na koro struggle tu. Ia nangau ni bandi tiki kina nama mata ni alon nangau ni. Ni dua lewat tu nakak kita ngah kita kini kerua nambimbi ni mata kubal. Kau yang baca ureda, sebab kata apa nak kain alir rawa. Sebab kata apa na zeder ni pun antara itu apa, iya, na ya lo na na tikung apa malu ay, na na tikung apa malu ay sih humble, iya, na tikung ana lokomi, na tikung ana lo ni, biro prokomi, iya, sebab ni bagus apa tu na zeder ni ka, balik tengok na na foundation ni bula, iya, na bula apa, apa mata balik na bula, ni dambe bata, na bami bina on lutu, dambe bata on ikana. Kakak nak dapat rukun ya, baru lo lo kan kakak nak. Mungkin zaman baru ni, ni tu. Lo punya arah rezeki tu mai. Malah terawan ini dalam tu bukan lo tu. Terawan ini dalam rukun bukan tu ko. Ia bayi balai sendu nak kaya tu kita. Me 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 pak kota tu ko kita. Kita nak bukan yang dalam tu kita. Kita balai yang soalan kau nak. Ia sendu bayi balai balai tu nak bukan yang dalam kita. Ia ni arah rezeki tu ko. Dan dah me teki teki itu rota. Teki itu ro ona. Teki itu ro Oh grandfather, oh grand, oh oh, kembali itu itu ada dari, berarti rari itu seperti apa? Jom bula, maka begini nak tanya tiko, haron ni ada na zonga, haron ni ada na lubu, haron ni ada na kama, haron ni tu tentel na na vital na lekam tiko, ia itu ada dari tiko. Yang mana na na bibi non, when we invest our time into family, yeah, to the family, it makes people humble and appreciate whatever each other. We are content. Yes. We are content with whatever we're going through. Whether a lot of food on the table or we just have we just have bila and we have a tapioca. Whatever is on the table, we are so content and we are very happy. Yes. That means we will not covet the things around us. Yes. Yeah. So we are content. We are happy. We we living a life that we are we are peaceful. Yes. Because sometimes you can be busy uh, making money to bring about yeah. uh, goodness to your family or raise your level of living, you know, uh, like maybe to bring other things on the table, a selection of food yeah. for you to eat. You're busy trying to work, bringing that money, taking away from home to bring that on the table. Yes. And uh, at the end of the day, it's never about the things on, on the, the table. table. It's, it's all about, about yeah. Who is on, with who you? Who is there with you on the on table? On the table. Yeah. But the number one in on the villa money. But the market that running on tin, that running on under running molly. Ah, no one tita vioka. Ah, no one tira roti va lolo. Ah, saparaki. Ah, panika ke mama kiti. Na kanga kwenye mene na ndeli ntibeli. Eba kae, you know, e segani ndona kanga. Imaterial. Na kae yo imaterial. Na kae kwa available dondoa. Is the person with you or the family with you? Oh, to go na tiko na go na biki tomanda na go na usume no kini na ko. Yeah, na tibu na imbili kana ko ko. Ka check. Yeah, yeah. Oh, na tamiki to geza kama na tibeli iko ndambe geto kumango. Yeah, kambala. Nindambe kina. Na sinro nindwe kana ba wamiki to ndambe kete. Yeah. So those make you humble because na geita kima na libu na go na na ready yani na. So na ready ta, or ready na, or tikir tu na yang guna lewa, or tu saya nak kena way way lenga. Mungkin kita tu lelai baru kita lelai lewa. So na gay tal ke demai, na beli tikawa, yang dua ke, putih na gay na gay kanabat. Those humble setup, yeah, it makes you to appreciate life. Sebab apa na dia dari nikah dah mula kawa, na tiko na hotel, na senda buka bawa lagi. It nurtures your life to appreciate it, to be grateful. So you you are not uh, when when you achieve, it's you are humble with your achievement. Yes. And you will dedicate your achievement to the very person. Yeah, the upbringing. Uh, the upbringing. Yeah. Yeah. So so na ngon na ngunti racing a balongo. Yeah. So na ngon sa otsa ngan kan racing. 
Moza matagari waroi, matagari waroi bango. Yana ngoni ni kau ni mai dolo bagi ni we. Kese ngono mose, iko na oza. Dolo bagi ni we kumbita ngai we. We tuinge dolo mai. Sena ngoni ni zambuka. Nikola ngoni mai. Onge isota pata kina risi bagalolo. Safiu sara. Se 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 na topai. Paka mama nda. Se se matanga ni kubina katemo mo mo kenia. Duongo na kausa oza sara na kenia na topai. Topai kau dua bulan awal, waktu yang ke ini, mungkin kita yang ke ini, yang ke ini. Yang na topai sah, orang serang. Yang tu terletak na topai, mebaya. Waktu yang kita wasu tu, amen. So, kita dah baru rongkat cuma ni, ni kau duit duit na weekend, dah terletak duit duit na dalam tu balik susu mungkin. Esok weekend dah susu mebaya kan? Susu baru tak cuma weekend ni kau angkat selebu. Kalau dah susu mebaya koro, sampai rawan ambulan, sampai nak ambulan. Bahkan dah susu kita ni instil tak aku nak velu aku dah susu mungkin. Biar mebaya kita dah dalam tu balik. Ia sampai rawan ambulan, sampai nak ambulan. Eva kasih aku terlebih terlengan nak velu kau cuma weekend dan aku nak dah susu tak mungkin. Try as much as possible because you will always remember your parents. But if your parents are still alive, oh you're blessed. Yes, you are very very blessed. Have the opportunity, uh, you know, to embrace your parents. Uh, young people, yeah. uh, young people. Once again, I always share with uh, the, when I normally go to the new town, to the town of uh, volleyball, volleyball to, tournament. Yeah. Always share with the young people in new town. When your parents is alive, that's your goal, mate. Yeah, <laughs> that's your goal, mate. No mungar Nicola. Bulat itu orang nak tahu tak kita ni nanti nanti tuan ni boleh tahu siapa ni dah. Orang tuan tu kan itu merah. Gara bira, binaga bira, apa? Pada mana kira ni rata? Gaya ni mungkin kau main orang orang itu betul. So remember your parents, remember your grandparents if they're still alive, and visit them. Give them a visit. Yeah. So we can just start that because earn money, and then you say to yourself, no, they are good, they are okay. Uh, try and visit them. Uh, it can be one chicken, it can be one uh, loaf of bread with a nice rabo butter, with a packet of milk. Uh, it doesn't need to be something big and good and expensive. Something simple. And uh, Because your face is... Your face matters more. Matters more. Yeah. <laughs> matters more. Not the thing you bring, but your face matters more. So uh, pop into your parents' home or to mom and dad and say, hello, uh, I'm still alive, I'm grateful, I want to come back and just to tell you thank you uh, because I am who I am today because of you. Without you, I wouldn't be. And, uh, and just to show them that act of appreciation, uh, you know, this year, before the year end, a fine time. And uh, maybe if you're overseas, you can talk to them on Facebook or talk to them on Viber uh, and tell them that you love them. It's not about the money you send them. It's all about you uh, talking to them. It's all about your voice that they hear, uh, the face that they give birth to and nurture. Uh, they will never forget. So uh, please uh, take the time mm. and take the moment uh, to uh, remember your parents and also to think of your grandparents and embrace them. Hug them. Mokata na namo dad, namo mom today, or hug your grandparents and just tell them that you love them. And for parents as well, please hug your children and hug your wife or hug your husband uh, to tell them that you love them. Uh, sometimes we don't tell them that you love them or we don't tell each other that we love them. Not until me sanduen lako, oh man, and you cry out your love. Um, and then you say to yourself, boy, I didn't even have the time to hug him or hug her to tell them that I love them. And, uh, and sometimes you say, oh, he knows I love him. Oh, she knows I love him. But well, tell them. say it. You need <laughs> to them. say it. You need to tell them. But I can't do a kayado. You'll say, you'll miss them. But you say, I have made known to him, or I have told her that I love her. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, you need to vocalize your love. Yeah. You need to show uh, that you love them. So don't wait any other moment. This is the time uh, for you to yeah. you know, show your love and um, show your love for your family, love for your husband, any wife, love for your grandparents, and love to your children. And then when you portray that love without fail, that love, it goes right throughout your society mm -hmm. and through our nation. It makes you a better citizen yeah. and a better person. Yeah, we have uh, one minute left, so uh, 
just giving us a level to round up and also join us for the volleyball tournament happening at the uh, Ouch Tower Niveau. It's uh, happening in uh, Newtown. Newtown. And in the roundabout, for those of you who have been following, today is uh, Third uh, series. series three yeah. and our Series four final will be next week. And uh, Normally we'll, five o'clock comes live yes, on Facebook on of Facebook, My TV. On My TV. Yeah? Yeah. And we are Some so good thankful. Teams, yeah. Thank you, Ali Kimbia. And, and uh, yeah. also Koli Vuadati for... Uh, uh, you know, that and, uh, running the team. And not forgetting the people of Newtown. Yes. No, they come in numbers, and I was telling them last week, eh, I, thank the, I thank the elders of uh, the community because they support their children. One thing that uh, takes away criminal activities from young, young people is sports. Yeah. yeah. So if uh, sports uh, is loved by our young people, we then we must support them. Yeah. Eh? You know, overseas, when we go overseas, when their children go and play soccer or rugby or volleyball, you'll see the parents will be sitting there preparing. Eh? So the people of Newtown, thank you so much for supporting yeah. young people. And not only the young people of Newtown, there are other teams coming from all over. Mm. over yes, so, yes, 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 yes. Uh, we are looking forward again to the series number three. Uh, this afternoon. Yes. Yeah. So if you have nothing to do, um, you don't need to be in Newtown or within the SS for you yeah. to come and watch. Please join uh, our people out there for the Ouch mm -hmm. uh, My TV Volleyball Tournament mm -hmm. Series 3. So join us. It happens until 6.30 um, uh, and for the finals. Yeah, so 6 o'clock normally or 5.30 start with the two semifinals okay. and the final. And for those of you listening from the Western and the Northern Division, uh, join us on Facebook and watch the game. Support our community uh, for the Yasser yeah. Volleyball Ouch Tau Niveau. Yeah, on that note, thank you for joining us. And uh, we look forward to uh, have you back with us 7.30 next Saturday. So on that note, we Nakabakalebu for joining us. I am here with God. Bring it on. Financial difficulties. Situation in your home. Relationship. Bring it on. Program every Monday to Saturday, 2 to 4 p.m. only on my TV.